can Tesla fix its horrible, terrible, no good service that a lot of people have been complaining about? Now, I know you guys can label me Tesla hater all the time, but I've been telling uh, you how poor my ownership experience has been overall due to mainly the bad service. It continued and I'm probably going to be leaving the brand, but it's not really about me. What I've noticed, and I've done a couple of videos already, is that some really big fanboys and fangirls have been complaining about the same thing. And when they are complaining about service, you know things are not right. Uh, and 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 I run a, a, one of the largest uh, Facebook groups for Tesla owners with over 35,000 members combined. And I see more and more and more complaints and disappointments that people have. Um, but uh, last night, yesterday, really, um, at the earnings call for Q4, Elon actually addressed a few of those issues. And as you know, there was a kind of crowdsourced, um, a bunch of questions that were crowdsourced by, a re uh, by retail investors. And number one question was about service. Um, but the way Elon handled this is telling me that either he doesn't get what's happening or they don't know how to fix it. So let me tell you why I think about it. Let, uh, let, me, let me tell you what really uh, happened during the earnings call that, that kind of got my attention. All of this is coming up next. Welcome to E4 Electric, your number one source of unbiased electric car news. If this is your first time here, don't forget to click on that subscribe button. It's over there. It's red and it's free. That way you won't miss anything moving forward. I'll wait. Okay, I'm going to just trust you that they did this. All right, so let's talk about this. Um, service has been horrible. It's not just me saying anymore. Um, again, you can look at any forum. Uh, you can you know, go to even the most uh, 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 biggest fans of, of, of Tesla and Elon Musk, and you'll see that they're quite a few complaints, especially the videos in the last month or so, but I've done a video about that already or two. We're going to leave that in the past. Now, during the earnings call, uh, when Elon was doing, you know, doing opening remarks, uh, he was uh, talking a lot about uh, the, you know, fixing, the, you know, the service. Um, and he was talking about, you know, um, one example that he gave is that, you know, uh, when in the future, in the near future, is uh, when you're, you have a flat tire before you can come to a complete stop. By then, there will be already a service ticket generated for you. There will be truck on the way and, 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 and the service center will be notified. So the whole thing will, 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 all the wheels will be in motion, so to speak, pun intended, I guess. Um, and in order for it to not happen, you would literally have to call uh, call it all off by uh, by by clicking on a button uh, in your app. Now, that's a great example. People just love it. Oh my God! Now, by the way, that's a not new idea at all. Um, that uh, nevertheless, that's 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 a good thing. However. Funny that he mentioned that because literally in the last, what, two or three days, uh, you know, Ben Sullins of Teslanomics was given an example of how that exact thing happened to him. And I think his wife was driving and, you know, she got a flat tire and they called Tesla and they couldn't get through. They could not get through to Tesla that was supposed to provide the service. They ended up calling AAA. Uh, how... After just this one thing, you can be a huge fan of the brand that's really screwing over so hard. Now, this was my complaint another month, about a month or two ago, when I had a problem with not being able to download the latest version of the over the over the uh, upgrade, and I spent about an hour and 15 minutes on hold just to get to somebody to who to, to who help to help me. Um, that is outrageous. So I think Elon is missing a point here. What he needs to do is to hire more people to do customer service and literally answer the phones. He just needs to get more people to answer phones. Um, he did not address that. Instead, he gave this flashy example, and that's all good. But listen, you got to hire more people to actually run your customer service and be able to talk to customer. No service can happen unless your customer actually gets on the phone uh, with you. The app is great. Again, I love the example, but that's just it just tells me he doesn't quite get it. So that was one thing that he mentioned. Another thing he mentioned was parts. And everyone was like, see, he gets it. That, that we've been having this problem all along, but now he's going to fix it. Well, listen, first of all, the issue with parts was from day one. OK, from day one and, and a lot of, you know, it was understandable because they're trying to make all these cars and, you know, making parts is kind of like, you know, afterthought. And uh, but it's been a problem all, all of the time. People get in a car accidents in their Teslas and they have to wait for weeks and sometimes months to get their stuff, to, to get their cars back. It's a problem. But somehow 
that I, you know elon made it sound like oh you know well you know uh, we, we we got it all wrong we we, we had it at the distribution centers but we're actually gonna uh, do it at the service centers you know i just don't understand why nobody says like whoa 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 what do you mean you got it all wrong you mean for five years you didn't know how to do parts and you're not a maker that is that's a pretty big concession uh, by the CEO of an automaker saying, oh, we we didn't know what we were doing. Uh, and, and and would I really trust him to get it right this time? You know, he did have I just mentioned another video, you know, one of the guys the executives left uh, last year was the vice president of uh, um, service sales and service. Was it not part of his job to figure out that, you know, you have to understand how you distribute parts to um, the, the shops and your own service centers? Though it still wasn't really, uh, 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 the, the, the problem was not making enough parts rather than where they're being stored. I think that Elon is once again missing a point, and that's, and I think that's a problem. Now, another thing why I think they are really trying to sort of, um, uh, you know, they're trying to address the minimum. They're trying to address the issue for the sake of addressing, but they're actually not going to do it. And and, and another thing happened on the, on the phone call that I think nobody picked up on, but let me tell you what it is before that. Of course, let me let you know that uh, this video and uh, this channel is sponsored by Evanex, the aftermarket accessories for Teslas that are always in stock. Well, not maybe always, but most of the time. But what's in stock all the time is a, uh, is, a, is the discount code in the description of this video. So you can grab it and, and, and save yourselves a few bucks. Um, I have a few of those accessories on my car and i'm pretty happy with it so should you all right so let's talk about the the uh, the other thing is like i as i mentioned uh this time around and kudos to tesla is that they let um uh, uh the the like four or five questions were crowdsourced from the retail investors um and the number one question and you know people could vote them number one question was this question which they ended up ignoring because they said oh we already addressed it in the beginning but they really didn't I just pretty much told you what Elon said about how they're going to be doing service, how they're going to be, you know, uh, doing things that are sound great, but uh, at the same time, kind of uh, also show their the incompetency and 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 a lack of understanding of what really needs to be done. But check this out. Um, Owners, uh, well, I think I just cut it. Okay, I, I'm going to say Tesla owners, many of them with large following stone line are becoming very vocal about Tesla's worsening customer service experience with delivery, service, and repair. Uh, this has a, a severe impact on sales and returning sales. Uh, what are you doing? They change this growing negative reputation. Now, I understand that they're saying that the, what, what they're doing to change this growing reputation, but the the sort of the premise of the question was really never addressed because, you know, how does it impact sales? How does it impact returning customers? Because like, here's me, I'm not a returning customer anymore, even though I'm on my third Tesla, exactly for this reason. Um, and again, you know, you're more than welcome to put your comments in the comment section and I'll, I'll, I'm definitely going to kind of maybe do a follow-up video. But for my taste, what Elon addressed, it kind of tells me that he's not addressing the reality. He still doesn't understand, you know, even, you know, with parts, as I mentioned, whether it's the distribution and just having them, um, uh, not having uh, enough of uh, service centers and, and, and people in their call, uh, call centers. And sometimes it's even just the way uh, the, 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 the worth, you know, remember just dropping the, the, the sales price after a few months of the performance model, uh, model three that, you know, Fred of electric got into this whole couple with, with Elon and they had to give money back to some, to, to all of their customers. That's still customer service, not just that service, but I so saw, I have a feeling Elon is missing and just kind of a bigger picture why people are becoming unhappy. And that's a concern. And once again, let me know in the comment section if you agree or disagree. Obviously, this topic will be explored more and more and more on my channel because uh, this is pretty dear to my heart. Other than that, see you guys next time. And remember to stay charged.